Believe it or not, these six-pack abs and impressive biceps belong to a man who's in his 70s. From the neck up, he looks every bit his age, but if you just look at his body, he seems decades younger. He says it's thanks in part to human growth hormone. It's the same controversial substance legendary quarterback Peyton Manning is denying using. I'm 73 and I really feel like I'm in my 30s. His name is Dr. Jeffrey Light. Yes, that is his real name. And he is literally a walking billboard for an age management medical practice based in Las Vegas called Senegenics. There was a time in your 50s, you look kind of schlubby. I was in terrible shape. I mean, I was short of breath climbing a flight of steps. I was a horrible example for my patients and my grandkids and my kids. Look at these before and after pictures. It's hard to believe the photos are real, but Dr. Life told Jim Murray they are absolutely authentic. What would you have said if somebody said, you will look like this at 73? I would have just said, this is photoshopped. Clearly, this photo is photoshopped. Dr. Life says he took basic steps to transform his body, including exercise and vitamin supplements. But there were also controversial measures. Do you take testosterone? I do. Do you take human growth hormone? I do. I do. Professional athletes are banned from using HGH because it is a performance-enhancing drug. It has been claimed that HGH was delivered to Peyton Manning's 40-year-old wife, Ashley. Endocrinologist Dr. Stuart Wienerman says it's not uncommon for women like TV personality Suzanne Summers to use HGH. There are claims that it's truly anti-aging, that it reduces aging, increases longevity, although there's no hard evidence to support it. But using HGH may have a dark side. In 2006, Dr. Life's former colleague, Dr. Alan Mintz, was featured on 60 Minutes showing off the benefits of human growth hormone. One year later, at the relatively young age of 69, Mintz died shortly after undergoing a biopsy on his brain. He died young because he had a surgical catastrophe. I think the concern about growth hormone is completely overdone. Dr. Weirman says the side effects of HGH are not fully researched. We have no idea what it does to long-term risk of heart disease or cancer or arthritis. Dr. Life says he hasn't experienced any side effects. He is happily married to a woman almost 20 years younger. We're all gonna age, everything, everything ages, but we don't have to get old.